Yes. I love these things. What's up, YouTube? Intricate Explorer here today. And I am at South Valley Park. It is a Red Rocks-esque park near Jefferson County, Colorado. So, let's see if it's pretty good or not. There used to be a gray and tower alone on the sea. Oh God, don't want to get bitten by a snake and we're in these bangers. All right, so I think I'm going to sing the coyote song today. Let's do it. All right, folks, looks like I'm walking straight into the storm here. Look at those clouds. They look mad. I've heard the best spot for a sunset shot is over there. I just talked to a park ranger who's also a photographer. So, you know, hopefully he gives me a good recommendation. So the good thing is that the lighting is Perfect. Got the nice soft sky, so you don't have to really wait for sunset to shoot at a time like this, because it's just so moody everywhere. Got ETA one hour till sunset. All right, folks, I'm gonna go up the lion's back now. I'm gonna try and gain a little bit of altitude, so that way I can either maybe see this entire place or see what's over this ridge up here. To be honest, this place kind of reminds me of Roxborough State Park except like the light version of it. Holy crap, this place is huge. I thought once we got behind that ridge, it'd be like the top you could overlook, but no, it's like the beginning of the entire park. Here's a nice little overview of the viewpoint at the top of the lion's thing. I think I'm gonna head over there, see what I can work with. I gotta beat the sun though, so the, I want the moment the sun comes behind those clouds, it's gonna light up all these rocks down here. I gotta get there before it pops out from under those clouds. This is turning into like a race against time, guys. Straight up. Honestly, it's these smaller parks that are always more difficult than the bigger parks to shoot at because the landscapes aren't nearly as epic. So you kind of have to create your own epic, which really flexes your skills as a photographer. Uh-oh, guys. It's starting to come. Fuck. Once it's done, it's only gonna be out for like five or 10 minutes, then it's gonna disappear. All right, guys, I'm gonna play with some light flares here. Look at all those beautiful rainbow colored tints shooting out. I love it. So, got a nice leading line here. I could walk towards, got that mountain right over there. I got the lens stopped on the F9, so that way it's gonna give me those like blades that are shooting out right there in that star formation. That's actually the inside of the lens that's making it do that. Check this shot out, guys. Oh, I'm freaking out. It's getting closer. Got like just a few minutes before it dips behind that mountain back there. The thing is with places like this where if you're going somewhere that's right by a mountain, the last bit of light on it's actually gonna be like half hour, 45 minutes before sunset. So you really wanna show up early to these kind of places if you're trying to get the light shining on things. Look at that house over there, guys. That might be the most beautiful house of all time. It's got some nice light rays shining on these rocks over here. It's situated right on a hill perfectly, right in the mountains, silhouetted by green. I'm gonna get a shot of it, but I'm gonna make sure I don't get any of these houses in it, because I wanna create this fantasy that it's this singular house in the middle of this epic landscape. All right, say your goodbyes. That's the last bit of light. Now, I could stay around and hope that the sky changes colors in about in a half hour. So in a half hour, the sun's actually gonna set and there'll be some like, hopefully some pretty lights and stuff. So I'm gonna keep going and see what I could get. All right guys, well, I reached the end of the trail. It looped like another road, so. See, I started here and I went whoop. So I'm gonna go like this on the way back instead of that trail. Whoa, let's get chewy out. Well guys, I somehow ended up on the side of a road. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. 
All right, I think I'm back on trail. Look at those clouds, guys. Weird. Guys, yeah, so I've said this before in other vlogs, but if you see a sky that looks this awesome, you need to just get a photo of it, like just, just like that. Just snap that photo. Then if you're ever in a place where you have a really bad sky, you can just replace it with this sky. And what you can do over time is build a library of skies. So you can have the perfect sky for the perfect moment, for the perfect photo, in the perfect place, for the perfect shot. All right guys, this is slowly gearing up to be an insane sunset. When the sky starts looking like that, in the opposite direction of the sun, the sun is gonna hit that and it's gonna start to turn this like purplish orange color. So I'm gonna take a time lapse while we wait for that to change colors. And then when it does change colors, I'm gonna get a dope shot of it. All right guys, check out this composition right here. Got a nice foreground object right here, this grassy field, this nice rock to pop up and add some dimension to the shot. And then this just insane rainbow splash of colors. I love it. I'm gonna make the sky look really big in this shot and I'm probably gonna trim lower on here because I want to put the emphasis on that massive cloud. All right, y'all, it's getting freaking cold out here, so I'm gonna start heading back to my car. This shoot might be a wrap, we'll see. All right, guys, never mind. I think I found a cool shot, check this shit out. So it's actually pretty funny because what I just said before with getting the sky for a time you need it, this is the perfect time, check this out. You see this rock right here? See the sky is just completely empty? Now I can put that sky from earlier right up there. All right guys, home sweet home. I made it back to my Prius. Thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Check me out on Patreon and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. A light hits the gloom on the